nice to see you. It's been a long time. I'm now just outside my cabin in my own shore and it's about minus 30 Celsius degrees. So it's really cold. <laughs> I'm gonna make this really short. Oh, my lips are so frozen, it's hard to talk. It has taken me a while to make this video. I've had some struggles. <laughs> First of all, my uh, my hard drive broke, which I, it's really annoying because there was like all my work, my photos and videos for about seven months and I just lost them all. And I sent it to this company that tried to fix it, but it was it was just too expensive for me and it was really hard to fix it. So here is my seven months of work. Photos, videos, everything. Somewhere in here. I have no idea how to get them out. They're lost. So yeah, I lost a lot of stuff and I also lost a ready-made video that I made for you. It was, it was already done and I was just about to put it in YouTube. But then the hard drive broke and uh, that really annoys me. And it was a video about the polar night, which is Kamos. And yeah, it was about living in the darkness and what it is like. But maybe I'll show it to you next year then. <laughs> so the polar night has ended in here. And the polar night means that the sun doesn't rise above the horizon at all. And here where I live, it means about 22 hours of total darkness in one day and it's a really interesting time to live here it's not always easy but it's also really beautiful because we have other sources of light like the moon and the stars and of course the northern lights but now the polar night has ended and it means that the sun came back again and seeing it for the first time of the, above the horizon it was really it was like a celebration it felt really really good It's been a really cold winter so far. We've had many weeks these minus 30 Celsius degrees conditions which are really hard for us and of course our homes and our cars and our pets and all that stuff. But it's actually quite normal in December and January to be this cold. We've also had a few strong winter storms with really strong winds and sometimes they just blow all the snow away from the trees and I, I don't like it that much because I really really love the aesthetics when there are a lot of snow in the trees and yeah I think it's super super beautiful. Mm -hmm.
really cold weather now, minus 33.5 Celsius degrees and I came to my friends because her car didn't uh, start. So this is how it is sometimes. frozen. I have to wait before I can drive the car. It's not a good idea to be outside in the wind and take photos without gloves. But it's so hard with these gloves to take any photos so I have to be without them. But. Ooh, I have to pay for that. Ooh. I've been on a few trips and I was gonna make a video about them but I lost it in the hard drive that broke but I have short clips on my other camera so I can show you those. It's so cold in here so my camera battery dies really easy. That's why I always have extra and I have to change them quite often. I don't mind. This view is kind of pretty. <laughs> so amazing. Okay, let's see how do we do this. With one hand. Yes. There we go. Oh, no, shit. If you don't want to know what my camera has been through quite much but she's a tough one okay here we go good as new hello <laughs> wow I've heard that this is the only chocolate that doesn't freeze because it's now about I don't know minus 20 minus 25 celsius degrees so everything that i have with me like food and drinks and stuff they just freeze but actually this doesn't so that's really nice and i also have some oops blueberry juice and it has to be in thermos because otherwise it would just freeze but it tastes now really good hot juice and some unfrozen chocolate and the views wow yay <laughs> it's been real nice talking to you this makes me a bit nervous but yeah it's a lot of fun so maybe i do this in the next video too and yeah i hope to see you very soon i hope you are doing well and sending you a lot of cold but really fresh wintry greetings so See you next time. Bye. <laughs> okay. <Ooh. laughs>